Thank you so much. Um, just testing the, yes, it's working. So when I heard for the first time the title Me Beyond, um, of course my first association was as well like Me Beyond Myself. But at Equalista we deal a lot with structural issues, with issues that are outside of our control and that's as well beyond us. So we actually, we can influence the outside, but we're as well influenced by the outside. So my talk is called Stereotypes, Norms and Role Expectation, because that is the outside that we're facing. And I don't want to condemn stereotyping, role, expectation and norms, because that is what makes us human. But at Equalista, we think you should know about that in order to deal with it. So it, as Delphine said earlier, when you know something, you can be proactive instead of reactive. So I want to do a very quick exercise with you to show you how powerful your brain is. So I'm going to show you on the next slide two people with a few cultural markers and your task is to picture that person in front of you. So the first person is a white Christian, 45 years old Dutch male doctor from the small city Delft. Do you have that man in front of you? The second person is a black Muslim, 60 years old French lesbian professor from Paris. <laughs> I guess from the laughing, I can deduct that you actually picture her and him in front of you. So that shows you that you actually just need a few words in order to form an impression on a person. This is very powerful. Your brain is very powerful. We use this function of our brains in order to determine in every situation whether we're safe or whether we're in danger. Unfortunately, our brain is not only using this function to see whether we're endangered, we're just lazy. We use it for everything in order to predict a result. So the recent Gender Social Norms Index that was published very recently found out that 91% of men and 86% of women hold at least one bias against women in relation to politics, economics, ed education, violence, or reproductive rights. The biases that were tested were questions like, do you think a woman is a good business leader? Or are women equally good in math? So nearly 90% when you, when you take the average has at least one bias. So I think that is enough to have a strategy how to deal with this. Because this is just a fact. Of course you can be really enraged by it. I am, this makes me angry but anger is not productive. So at Iqvalista, we're always asking the question, okay, these are the facts. What can we do? We have this structural issue that is outside of our control because we don't have immediate control uh, over this fact. So what can we do? How can we be active instead of reactive? So our, in our opinion, knowledge is your superpower. Because going into a situation, thinking people will be unbiased towards you or don't hold stereotypes, you know, me walking into a situation, I can, I can take for granted that as a woman in a technical field, there will be biases against women in technical fields. I'm blonde, you know, there are so many stereotypes. And I can be passive about that. I can hope that over time they will find out that you know I'm actually knowing what I'm talking about and that my hair color has nothing to do with my qualification. But I can be as well proactive about it. I can know before they know what they think about me. So knowing what other people think feels like a superpower and it really is. So that means when I go in these situations I know the stereotypes I'm facing and I'm counteracting them. So in technical meetings, I'm very early on saying, like I'm using advanced technolo technological terminology in order to signal my opposite that I know what, what I'm talking about. So 
of course, in a suitable context. So it's not like, hi, I'm Theo, and I'm knowing this programming language. It's more <laughs> when it comes up in a talk, then I'm, then I'm showing that I know what I'm talking about. Um, so what is really important is make it a step-by-step -step process. First, you know the stereotypes, and they have nothing to do with you. Studies have shown that women are actually that are knowing stereotypes are actually acting more like it. A woman that knows that women are supposed to be not so good in math will actually perform worse at math test. This is not what we're doing at Equalista. We tell you there is the stereotype, but it's wrong. Forget about it. The purpose of knowing this stereotype is that you can combine it with knowing yourself. So there are stereotypes about women that might be accurate for you you might not want to correct that stereotype because it's accurate. But there might be others that you want to correct. And there are stereotypes that are important in situations. Like for me, as a founder of a technical company, it's important that people take me serious when we talk about technical issues. But it's not so important whether they think I'm emotional, because usually it's a, a business meeting. So what I want to correct is the technical bias and not the emotional bias. So focus on what you want to change, which perception you want to manage, and which you can just drop. But that you can only do when you know yourself. So don't just discard all stereotypes about women, but figure out what is accurate for you and what is not. Because every stereotype sometimes has like a kernel of truth. And then the third step is to know the difference. Know where you're deviating, because that gives you the information about the perception gap that you want to manage. And then know how to correct the perception. As I said, I'm using, for example, in, in meetings, that I'm using quite advanced technical terminology. But it could be as well to update your LinkedIn profile instead of just giving a uh, a short bio, you can add adjectives like that you're innovative or that you're curious, um, that you're technology driven, things, um, adjectives that, that um, impact the perception that people have of you. Because stereotypes are a shortcut. So it's a box that people put you in, but you're, that's a brain function. It's a brain mechanism. But brains are constantly scanning the environment for additional danger. And they take in all the time all the information that you're providing. So at any given moment, you have the choice to correct something or not correct something. You have the agency. But of course, I don't want, to want you to spend the energy on lost cases. There are people that just want to think women are inferior. You figure that out pretty fast. And don't waste your energy on those, those cases. Um, most people are actually not aware of what is happening, so they are not aware of that mechanism, and they are just waiting for the cues that you're giving. So focus your energy on the people that want to change, that want to be good people, and then you're in charge. <laughs>